Hello, my name is Loic. I will talk to you about the first step of uh, creation of this project, which is the design part. I designed uh, the paint mostly with animation in mind to be able to play with the light so it can like dance around the cab. So for this, uh, I created a grid uh, which is based on the Renault Turks logo, which is, as uh, you know, is a diamond. And then I drew my shapes on it. We chose the name uh, Diamond Eco because of the light which are propagating around the cab through these diamonds. What I like the most uh, about this project is that we have 48 segments of uh, Lumilor paint, which can be uh, seen as 48 light bulbs that we can play with. We can program them in the order we want, so we can draw the shapes we want, we can control the duration, we can make them slow, we can make them fast, we can make them breathe. The possibilities are endless with the animation. I also thought about how to bring interactivity uh, to the project with uh, the battery charging status on the side fairing of the truck, which is where the batteries are located. So you can know before entering the truck how much energy you have left. I am really happy with the result of uh, the painting when it's off, but it's even better when it gets illuminated. I would like to thank all the people who have participated in the project. And now I leave you with Dennis, who will explain to you how he painted the truck. Hello, I'm Dennis of Demon Paint and I had the honor to spray this nice Renault truck with my electroluminescent paint called Lumilor. I will guide you through all the steps which we have done just to give you a um, making of how everything worked and how much work it really was just to do this. Um, Lumilor is an, elect an electroluminescent paint system uh, which contains four different um, systems. So we have a backplane which is used for the electrodes to provide the current and the voltage um, to it. Isolation is called dielectric. And then we had chosen the pigment, it's aqua. And the last layer, we need a transparent layer, which is conductive, a layer called CTC, conductive top coat, which is nearly transparent, but um, the light can go through it. So, and if you spray these layers, right, like it's like making a sandwich, um, you can see in this explanation video. Then it lights up. So like you can see here. First thing is um, to get the design sorted between um, both parties, just to have this on the computer and then get it on the plot and um, just have stickers. We need to mask it and um, to go ex as exact as possible because this is 3D and on the computer you most have the 2D second. I had to think about where all the connections and um, the cables later on go because um, the paint um, cannot be connected to um, a current or a, or a voltage. So that's at a certain point we need to go to the cables, choose all the channels, mark them all up. Later on we want to control them so it's very important to do this step as one of the first steps and not to get confused later on because we're running about 150 cables in this truck. Easily 100 meters of cable, even more. After that step, we have done that. So we are going to mask everything and prepare it, stick the cables on and then spray the backplane. So finished with the backplane, because of the masking, we always have an edge where the paint goes up and comes down. So it's a very sharp edge. And this is what we have to cut down. Either you can use a sandpaper or I use a plastic blade. After cutting down the edges, um, I have to mask the, I say, the minus. But a plus is what lights up and minus is what doesn't light up. So the minus has to be covered and not to be sprayed because we need it later on to go together with the CTC, conductive top coat, as, as the last layer to light it up. Now we're spraying the dielectric. The dielectric is very important. We need to have a thickness of about 35 microns. It's approximately the thickness of one hair, which is perfect. If you go lower, it can start burning. And so that means the voltage is just hitting through everything and you get, uh, get a black spot. This is what you don't want. As well, if it's too thick, the brightness goes down or you get a foggy effect, like a cloudy part. So this is very important. So next layer, it's the pigment. 
which lights up. So this one goes pretty fast in the same time on, on the dielectric. There's no long waiting half an hour or something like that. And we, we spray it directly on it. The good thing is it's very transparent and you can't really see it because the dielectric is very, very white. Um, if I spray a nearly a transparent layer on a white and I can't see the really the thickness. That's why we're using black light and spray it in the dark. That's the really coolest part on it. Nobody is usually spraying in the dark. No, no painter wants to spray in the dark. It's always about, I want to see my paint. I need to see the everything and I want to have brightness. So no, we do it in the dark. When we've done that, um, unmasking of the bus bar, um, which we had to cover for the CTC. And we're coming to the other nice point to bring it alive. So this is um, spraying the CTC. Layer has to be very thin. So uh, 10 microns we are talking about. So a third of a hair. And I use a heat gun to dry it directly because it only gets conductive when it's dry. Just to see if there's enough or you have to spray a little bit more. That's why you sometimes see on the video it's, it's a little bit cracking and all that stuff. So that little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. If you do it too much, you mess it up and the whole um, truck can be sprayed again. But this is, it's, it's not rocket technology, but you really have to be patient and um, be, be precise. So now we have it lit up. Of course, it's electricity and it's not protected by like a cable. You have plastic around it um, or rubber. And um, so we have to protect it with an automotive clear coat. Approximately we spray uh, eight to 10 layers of clear coat. After that one, the truck will get blue into its original color, but we leave out uh, or we do not spray the Lumilo parts because otherwise they're gone nearly because most of the paint is very opaque. Then spray the clear coat again, another nine or 10 layers, um, just depends until it's really even. It's like a normal car paint, just with a few more layers. That's a good question. Um, approximately two months, eight weeks, is a schedule when the design is finished. Eight to 10 weeks is realistic um, to have a truck painted like this. So it's, um, of course, it's the first truck I'm doing. Uh, I've done a few cars, which had a lot of areas, but I, am, I think this size, though so this is massive and it nearly didn't stop as I lit it up. And I think it's the biggest size um, I ever lit up at one time. Maybe even it's the biggest size have been lit up um, ever. Maybe a new world record, but um, it's definitely the first in the world.